All right, everyone. This is Bob, and this is my, uh, you know, we have right here my uh, African violet. Then we have like this nice plants that is growing well. I think it might be some type of pothos. And then we have my lucky bamboo. But what I really want to attract your attention is on this small spider right here. So yeah. I'm not sure where it comes from, but I'm going to keep it right there because, you know, uh, that type of spider is really efficient and don't move that much, so, yeah. Uh, so this is in my room, by the way, so I'm not afraid of it. Uh, she have kind of built a little cocoon uh, all over herself. Uh, oh, sorry. And now she disappeared. Oh my god, she's on my arm. No, just kidding. So, yeah. I'm uh, not sure of the species exactly, but uh, it is a pretty common uh, species for that I know. In the sense that uh, it's not the first one I've seen. I'm uh, not sure if it's a male or a female from the look of it. Maybe a female. Uh, but I'm not sure for that uh, specific species. But yeah, usually with spiders, uh, female are bigger. Now, um, even though spiders aren't insect, um, spiders are one of the uh, rare in um, invertebrate that actually take care of their child. And in some cases, the mother spider actually allow uh, her babies to actually feed on her. So this is quite uh, gruesome and crazy, but yeah. Uh, other than that, uh, in the in insect family, um, Bugs are, uh, so yeah, the true bugs family are um, actually good parents. But insects like butterflies, ladybugs, um, beetle in general uh, are really just crappy uh, at parenting. Usually they will just uh, lay their eggs on a leaf and then just leave forever. But for spiders, they will uh, actively defend uh, their eggs and um, share good parenting parenting skills so they will even um, travel with all their little babies on their back so uh, despite the fact that a lot of people hate uh, spiders you cannot deny that they have some good parenting skills um, other than that let's see what else could I talk about for spiders um, Oh yeah, there is two uh, distinct species, uh, not uh, species, sorry, but um, two class of spiders. So we have the primitive one, uh, including the tarantula, and then we have the um, all the other species. And basically the main uh, difference, if I uh, can showcase using my fingers, um, oh yeah, all right, is that the primitive one, uh, the they have like a spikes that do this, so that's their mouth piece. Uh, so imagine big uh, hook right here and here. This is how the mouth of the spider works. So they just jab into their prey and then um, deliver the venom, and then they uh, suck all the um, fluidized organs of their prey. But for the um, spiders like this one, uh, and most of the spiders, the um, the mouth is made like this, so boom, boom, doing kind of a pincher thing. And then the hooks are again like at the end. So the clack, clack, grab it like that, while the tarantula it's like that, slack, slack. Uh, other interesting uh, thing uh, scorpions are actually uh, arachnids. Um, actually, let me just get my big uh, tarantula. It's not um, alive. Uh, tarantula but yeah let me just get it so this is a real tarantula that is in my room so as you can see uh, well first of all it's into some uh, resign so it's not alive if I shake it it's not going to jump <laughs> uh, but yeah um, so as you can see they have uh, four uh, set of legs so two four, six, eight. And then you might think that those are some uh, another set of legs. 
but you're wrong. Those are called pedipalp, and they are pretty much just um, a part of the mouthpiece. And when we look at scorpions, uh, the pinchers, which are those part right here, are actually the pedipalp of the uh, scorpion. So those um, looking le like legs are actually a piece of the mouth and they are actually the pinches for the scorpion. So scorpions and um, spiders are actually in the arachnid family. Um, and yeah, so uh, that order also include the um, vinegar scorpion, I think is how you call it, uh, which doesn't have any um, venom. Now there is a species um, called the daddy long leg. Now it's hard to explain because uh, in some in certain countries the daddy long leg uh, is referred to another uh, species but um, I'm going to show you a picture probably if I'm not too lazy on editing. Uh, but yeah basically the daddy long leg isn't a spider. It's actually a, a really big uh, aquarium. Um, how do you call it? Um, I'm just going to put the <laughs> the name on the um, on the screen uh, for you there, but yeah, basically they are in spiders because they uh, only have one uh, piece. So you see right now the spiders and the uh, scorpion they have like two parts uh, for their body. So they have the uh, head slash slash thorax, uh, which form one big unit, and then we have the abdomen. But for the uh, daddy long leg, it's all. Uh, in one big piece, so just one, uh, like all the abdomen, the thorax, and the head are put together into one piece, and they don't have venom, and they don't um, utilize a web like the spiders do. Uh, so they aren't even in the same uh, family. Um, now, if I'm correct, I think the lobster and the crabs and uh, shrimps and um, things like that are actually in the um, arachnid family, but I'm I, I'm probably mistaking uh, right here, so don't quote me on that, but they aren't insect, uh, that's for sure. Um, oh, also, uh, fun fact about scorpion, uh, most of the most uh, venomous scorpion are actually the smaller one, uh, because they don't have uh, pinchers as strong as uh, big, bigger species, so they have to rely on dangerous uh, venom to kill their prey. While uh, bigger species of, corp of scorpion don't have nearly as potent uh, venom. And there is, I think, only 10 species of scorpions uh, out there that can uh, kill you, like maybe more than 10 species, but it's really a small number compared to all the one that doesn't uh, give you that much trouble. Um, and also, if you get uh, stung by a scorpion, it doesn't mean you're necess necessarily going to die. Uh, it all depends on how your body will react to the uh, enzyme. So, scorpion and um, uh, spiders, I'm going to return to this little fellow right here. So, scorpion and spiders, they have um, what you call venom, in the sense that they inject uh, a potent um, produce in their prey compared to poison. So poison is uh, most used by amphibian like um, uh, let's say a newt or a uh, you know the poisonous frogs in the sense that they won't try to kill their prey with the poison they will actually try to defend. So a good way to distinguish venom versus poison is uh, the fact that venom is used uh, as a offensive weapon while uh, poison is used as defensive purpose and also uh, venom is uh, usually not all the time obviously there is some exception but uh, poison is um, transmitted by the skin or like you have to ingest poison so it can uh, be lethal while venom have to be inject um, through either um, some uh, a dart or the uh, fang of the animal. So yeah, as you can see right now, we are looking at the fang of the um, spider. Sorry if uh, 
the the view isn't that clear, but yeah. Also, sorry about the people that are afraid of uh, insect. Oh, well, that's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> wow, we can kind of see all the... Uh... Oh, that's interesting. Uh, by the way, uh, I have a big collection of insect like that. Um, so those are my authentic insect. They are all uh, into those boxes. So I have seven boxes of them. Uh, I'm not going to show the lower um, row of uh, the boxes simply because I have some family picture and I don't want um, my family to be like in uh, on YouTube and all. Uh, well, it's more of their request and all. Uh, but yeah. So as you can see, I am a big lover. Oh, okay, I can kind of uh, show you those. Those insects right here, um, I actually catch them, but yeah, the rest of them uh, are from a collection called Authentic Insect. And each uh, insect w was coming with a, um, you know, a little guide uh, talking about where they come from, what's, uh, what's their habitat, what they eat, what their uh, lifestyle is. So as you can see, I'm pretty much in love with not only fish keeping, but uh, insect keeping as well. And actually, I think I prefer insect keeping than uh, fish keeping, um, believe it or not. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I'm really not afraid of insect. I actually love them quite a lot. And so if you think I'm smart about fish, you have not seen the um, the tip of the iceberg of my knowledge on nature. Because the yeah, insects are 10 times more fasc uh, fascinating than fish. So yeah. Uh, if you want to learn a bit more about insect, I have quite a lot um, of videos on my nature at its best playlist, but I also have uh, several playlists where I talk about uh, different projects that I did during the summer. So I did a lot of vivarium. Uh, I did a lot of expedition into the wild, catching and uh, releasing uh, wild animals, especially insect and like um, animals like frogs and newt and salamanders. So if you're interested into the uh, insect kingdom, uh, make sure to check those out. Um, also, now you might be wondering, but Bob, aren't you afraid of uh, any insect? This guy right here. This is my worst nightmare. Um, I'm really interested to them, but uh, basically in the wild there is what you call a giant centipede, and they can uh, actually take down quite easily a freaking tarantula. So if you're afraid of tarantula, think again. You should be actually afraid of the giant centipede. <laughs> and I've watched a, a channel called uh, Brave Wilderness, and the dude literally got uh, purposely bite by one of those. And yeah, he he, he I'm I'm pretty sure he won't uh, get bite again. And he's the type of dude that like allow himself to get quilled by uh, porcupine or get like bite by crocodiles and things like that, uh, sorry, alligators and snapping turtles, but yes, uh, giant centipede, even he didn't like it. <laughs> so yeah, they're just vicious predators by the way, it's just crazy. Um, anyway, thanks a lot for watching, um, I hope you have learn learned something new today, and I will see you all real soon for the next one. Bye!